couple of transactions for July 2019 okay so with the 5th the 13th 16th there's quite a few of them that that's been done so I'm going to look at all of them every transaction must be put in a specific journal now if we pay something through the internet okay that will go to your CPJ because you're paying it cash you're paying it cash so I'm going to look at that journal I'm gonna do every transaction and take it directly to the specific journal okay so if I look at look at the specific journal here right so there's the CPJ okay there's the CPJ and it tells me the following pay 5,000 Rand via the internet to Droop shops okay Droop shops is our creditor that we are looking at okay so on the fifth take a look over here why do we say BS or bank statement because it's via the internet so the only place where we will see this transaction taking place is by looking at your bank statement on the fifth the day the creditor's name that we are paying is Troop Books he is creditor number one how do I know that um, it shows the C1 creditor number one over there okay right so we're paying 5,000 rand in the bank account and we are paying it towards the creditor so we are down pay we're paying back the creditor okay so 5,000 in the bank account and 5,000 rand in the creditors control because we are paying specific we are paying creditors in general but the specific creditor that we are paying is Troop Shops okay so that was transaction number five okay the second one over here then would be on the 13th buy trading inventory to the value of 7000 Rand from Kumala traders on credit okay so if we are buying trading inventory um, and we're buying it on credit we put it in the CJ so the journal here that comes into place the CJ the creditors journal because we're buying on credit and another way that we can see it we're receiving an invoice from this specific uh, supplier uh, but remember the so that was the invoice number according to the other clients books the suppliers books but in our books it is invoice number 98 for the year for example okay so we renumber it to invoice number 98 and it's day 13 amount of 7000 rand and it's trading inventory so I'm going to the CJ Okay, so I'm going to the CJ and right so creditors journal at the top okay so there we see it's number 98 okay so it's invoice number 98 day 13 it's Kumalo traders is the person uh, is the uh, supplier that we're working with and his number is K3 how do I know it's K3 um, uh, creditor number three so we can either put the um, k3 or uh, c3 okay so creditor k3 or c3 okay um, and it's 7000 rand that we are putting in there okay 7000 rand as the amount that we're paying and what was that 7000 rand it was trading inventory so we put it in the trading inventory column okay so we've done um, transa transaction on day 13 okay so the next one the next one will be on the 16th okay send trading inventory to the value of 4000 rand back to Kumalu traders okay so Kumalu traders is our creditor we're sending it back that means we're not happy with it so we're sending back to the value of that and we receive a credit note okay which we renumber, renumber to number 44 from Kumalo Trader so they send us a credit note um, so there is a bit of a allowance or discount okay so I'm going to put this in the C A J okay creditors allowance journal on the 16th Okay, so there's the Creditors Allowances Journal, renumbered to uh, number 44, 
day 16 the creditors Kumala traders okay and um, I want to change all of them because at the top it's C3 so I'm going to change all of these um, to C3 otherwise you get confused C1 C2 okay so that it's the same all the way through not sure why they made it a K okay so 4,000 rand creditors control and what was it? It was trading inventory. So we put it in both columns. What is this 4,000 rand? It's trading inventory. So we put it there. Okay.